Okay, so we have two things, I think, over there, which is just a little bit of a problem. If you're new, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. It is Sunday, so we have a few things to uh, pick out and package up to send on their way that we have sold over the weekend. I did ship out a lot on Saturday morning because this is the weekend after Thanksgiving, so I ended up shipping out everything I sold on Wednesday night, Thursday, and Friday on that Saturday morning. So I only had about nine items to pull today that have sold sort of between then and now, but that's fine. I think eight of them are eBay. One lonely one is on Poshmark, um, but we're going to go ahead and grab those items now from inventory and get ready to ship them out okay so i have my trusty uh laundry basket right here and i have one of my boxes ready to go actually i think um so the first thing that we have sold as you can see is like a catastrophe right now because i just have so much stuff listed and have not really gone around to storing it correctly so bear with me um the first thing that i am going to pull today is this little lady so she came from a thrift store i listed her just the other day and i actually got it a uh, an offer almost immediately for thirty dollars um and a bunch of activity on her so i figured that she was something special i actually ended up pulling down the listing and putting her on an auction instead because i just figured there was something interesting to her anyway long story short she ended up selling for 41 dollars plus shipping on an auction she's just a little ceramic uh, she dated in the 70s um but i think she's kind of cool with her bug eyes so she's gonna go i think in this priority mailbox right here and then next we have, okay, so we have one plush. I'm going to have to sort through these now. So it's in here somewhere. It's all for like $10 and change, I think. Where are you? It's like a little, I know what I'm, aha, found you. This little guy right here. So this is an American girl, Siberian Husky. Um, I think he has a name. I can't remember. Where is it? I don't know. I think he had a name anyway, but he sold for $10 and I think 59 cents plus shipping. I've actually had him for quite a while, so I'm glad that he's kind of on his way, but he's easy to ship, easy to store. I think I'm just going to do him in some bubble wrap and a poly mailer since he's a plush. Okay, let's do the shoes next. So it's going to be down here in the men's area. <laughs> No accounting for organization. I know I'm just doing what I can right now. I know they're here somewhere. All right, we got to them eventually. So they are just a pair of Bass Weegians. These only sold for, I think, like 15 bucks. Um, I used to do so much better with these kinds of shoes, but unfortunately, they're just not doing like they used to right now, which, you know, changing marketplace and all that. So I think I'm going to grab one of these, just like a shoe box, and go ahead and package them up with bubble wrap into there. Okay, then I have, I think, two pairs of jeans, which I'm going to grab from the boxes behind me, and then I need to go find some jackets that have sold. And they're tucked away in the corner in some big totes. All right, so we have one pair of jeans, which is a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, size 14, Marilyn Straight. They're going to be up here in Y. Um, they are white, there they go, Y19. I've only just listed them, so they sold really quickly. And they'll go in a padded flat rate mailer which I have a few kind of tucked up here. So I think I'm just going to grab one. Actually, let me grab two since I know I have another pair of jeans that are going out today as well. All right, and the other pair of jeans is a pair of Miss Me jeans, which sold for 30 on Poshmark, and they are 018. So I know they're going to be tucked in here somewhere. 018, there we go. So let me go ahead and put that in the, uh, in the basket as well. <laughs> and then... Right, all of these other items back into place. There we go. Okay, so I'm into my women's jacket bin over here. So I'm looking for this what? So that this I think is yes. So this hot topic jacket paid three. It sold for twenty, but it sold really quickly in less than a week of being listed. So I'll get that out, and I think I'm going to put another one of these in there as well. Because I have a feeling it's going to want to go with a padded flat rate mailer. And then I have one other, which actually I might need another padded flat rate now I think about it. But it's been listed for forever. So this is where I keep all the women's jackets, as you can see. And unfortunately, there's not really any rhyme or reason. Um, it's just that this is the space that it would be. So I do tend to have to do a little bit of digging. This one is a pink herringbone. So it should be fairly easy to find once I get down there. But it has been listed a while. So it's probably somewhat buried. All right, I finally found it literally at the bottom of the tote. So uh, again, I think this is going to be a padded flat rate item and that's going on eBay. And again, I think that's all for maybe like 
$12 or something. I'm surprised. It's really nice. It's like pink herringbone. It was a wool silk blend. I thought it was going to do fine. It just sat for forever, like literally years. So I'm glad to have it on out of the way. Okay, so that's everything pulled for tonight, except I did get one more sale while I was in the midst of pulling everything. And it is this vintage backgammon set. I think I spent like a dollar or less on this. Um, and it sold for $25 and I think five cents. Um, so the buyer uh, paid a total of $40, including shipping. So it's all complete and everything. It is vintage. Um, and I think it is going to go in one of these board game boxes. Although I do think I can trim that down to go ahead and reduce the dimensions and therefore the shipping cost a little bit. So I'll go ahead and pop this in and then I'll grab my box cutter and I'll try and trim it to size as well. Okay, so the very first thing that I am going to grab um, is this. Oh my God, it's heavy. Okay, <laughs> it's a uh, iRobot Roomba. Um, I procrastinated on listing this bad boy for quite a while. I paid $20 at a yard sale. I did all the testing. I was able to take screenshots on the app um showing that it was fully charged and it cleaned the lower floor of my house very nicely <laughs> so then I cleaned it out it's got a brand new filter that goes with it and this sold for let me think I spent 20 it sold for 100 and it's going global shipping so I'm going to go ahead and double box this obviously it's in its original box here but I am going to go ahead and put it in its own box as well just to give it like a little bit more structure as it goes Okay, the next thing that I'm going to grab are these. So I grabbed these at a yard sale. And yes, they're going to make noise. I um, grabbed them at a yard sale for $2 a piece. So they're, I don't know what they are, stretch, rampage. They're video game characters. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to know. Anyway, picked them up for $2 a piece um, because they were new in box and the comps looked fine. And um, they both sold to the set. I wish they would. They both sold to the same buyer. This one sold for, I think, $24.99 and this one for a best offer of $30. Um, she did pay separately, so what I'm going to do is package them up together, make sure that that tracking number goes to be the same on both of them. And then if there's any savings there on shipping, I'm going to go ahead and refund her the difference on those. So I'll probably just put them both into sort of a large uh, cardboard box. Like all of these that I have here, because I totally hid up my neighbors to see if anybody had extra boxes now that it's Christmas time. So that I would have extra packing materials. So, you know, shameless. All right, into the box they go. Okay, so we have two things, I think, over there, which is just a little bit of a problem. So <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. All right, so we have this one purse. This is a fry purse. I picked this up from a yard sale and I actually only paid 25 cents. I think it was actually 24 cents when everything was said and done. Um, and it sold on eBay for 100. So I'm pretty happy. Oh my, never mind. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that particular sale. Um, like I said, going out on eBay, Fry is a great brand if you can find it. And then I think my other item might actually, I see her leg. Um, so this plush right here, I actually almost discarded, not discarded, donated, I should say, because um, I didn't think she was going to be worth anything. She wasn't like Disney store or anything. So I, I didn't think she was going to be a value. There we go, N-E-C-A. Obviously she is Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and she is a poseable doll, meaning she has wire in her arms and legs. Um, and yeah, she sold for I think $27.99 and she would have been about a 30 to 50 cent pickup. Okay, now I have to find the next item. <laughs> There's too much stuff and my system just is not enough, I've decided. Okay, let me try and do this carefully so I don't break them. Um, so these little guys right here are little Christmas like village figurines. You can kind of see them poking in there. Um, I bought a lot of like Department 56. These are not Department 56. And these were kind of like strewn about the bottom of one of the boxes. So I decided to lot them up together. I think there's four total. And they sold for $12 plus shipping. And like I said, they're just generic sort of like ceramic or porcelain um, vintage, not vintage, just Christmas figures. So not too bad for something that was just kind of like in there extra, basically. Okay, so the next item is possibly one of the weirdest things that I have ever picked up. It was not a huge money maker, but I only paid 25 cents for it. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Ah, just kidding. Okay, back here in the plush section. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ta-da! This thing. I don't know what to say. So it's a vintage Florida Marlins 
mm, travel pillow plush i am not entirely sure what this is i used every keyword that i could possibly think of um, but i paid 25 cents for it and it sold for 12 plus shipping i had it up for 35 because i just didn't really know what it was or if it had any demand spoiler not really um and it's been listed for a good four months now without any kind of interest so i was happy to take 12 just because he was something that i kind of took a chance on but yeah odd sale of the day right there all right i had one other fossil wallet uh sell this is actually the same person that bought the last fossil wallet from me and they sent me a message and said they wished they had looked to see if i had any extras because uh, they would have bought them together unfortunately i'd already sent off the other one so i couldn't really do a combined shipping deal for them and they i did take a best offer and drop my price quite significantly for them um but yeah i'm glad that that is going off to the same home and hopefully they like that one just as much as the other one okay i have a hat which I always dread because mm, I don't know why I do this to myself. This is not how you should store your inventory. Spoiler. Okay, he's back here somewhere. Let me find him. Okay, got it. Um, so this was a Dale Earnhardt Top Gun Good Wrench Camo Vintage Hat Snapback. All the good stuff in there. I paid three dollars for each. This one sold for I want to say like twenty five, twenty to twenty five, I think. And then the other one sold for I think closer to 30 or 40 um, and the other one had like a splatter paint effect on it so I'll just box this up and send it on its way but those sold really quite quickly so definitely something to kind of keep an eye out for there all right so I think everything else is pretty much clothing I'm going to go ahead and grab that now I'll let you know what the pieces are and then it's time to ship all right so clothes I know I have one item that's hanging out around here this is a vintage Christmas sweater with like a Christmas tree and bows and all that good stuff knitted by hand paid a dollar and it's sold for I want to say like 20 or so go ahead and pop him down the side there i5 this one is bright colored so it shouldn't be too difficult to find it all right, that wasn't too hard. Um, this one was an anthropology piece. It was an Akemi and Kim, uh, mu like mustard yellow waffle knit top. I had high hopes for it. I had it listed originally at 35. I actually dropped the price today to 25 and got an offer almost immediately for 15, but I only paid a dollar. It's been sat for a while. So I decided to go ahead and just take that offer and move it on out. All right, so the next one is a bundle on Poshmark. So it's a pair of shoes, which I'll grab in a second. I'm gonna move these giant coats that I have in here. Um, and what am I looking for here? W31. It's bright purple, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. All right, got it. So this is a brand new with tags chenille. Um, I think I'm saying that right. All this sweater, pick it up for a dollar. It's sold in this bundle. So let me pop it in here and then let's go find the shoes that go with it. The shoes actually I listed just a day or two ago. Now, where did I? There they are nice and easy um so these are just a pair of black leather pony sneakers um i paid about 50 cents for these and i think the bundle altogether sold for about 36 dollars so not too bad at all all right this one is definitely an old one because i do not do my bags like this <laughs> anymore this is back when i was using like bread bags and stickers which you can see do not work very well now i do the like ziploc so i just reuse them every time um, and this is just a chico's tank top i think it's sold for maybe like eight dollars or something just glad to move it out it's been listed for literally years all right we're on the hunt for miss me jeans next h22 there we go, H22. So um, these sold for full asking price, I think around 50 or so. And I think they may have been a straight leg fit. Um, and you can see the embellished button flap pockets kind of poking out there. And I think I paid around $5 or so for these. All right, we're getting so close. <laughs> I think there's like one item left to pull. And then obviously all of the shipping has to take place. So let me look at my trusty little piece of paper. All right, so the very last one is going to be in my women's jacket bin. So now we got to get to it. All right, so the final item is this all this uh, sort of plaid, tartan, tweed jacket situation that's going on and um, i think i paid about 50 cents or so for this and it sold for 30 plus shipping all right so now that we have the tote 
full of items. <laughs> I'm going to grab a few boxes that I have my selection now. I think that one's going to fit the rumba really good. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, and I'm going to take this upstairs to my office and I'm going to start printing my labels. All right, so I made it to my office. I'm going to crack on and get these things boxed up. I think I've got a good hour or so <laughs> work ahead of me just because there's a few things in there that are a little bit more difficult, um, need some wrapping and need some boxes cut to size and things like that. But I was just looking on my eBay and I'm really pleased to say that yesterday, which was m the Monday after Thanksgiving, ended up being like a $460 sales day for me on eBay and then a few on Poshmark as well, which is not normal. <laughs> I don't usually make that much in a day. So here's to hoping that sales keep going like this, you know, up until the Christmas slowdown when people can't get things to them in time for Christmas anymore. Basically, I'm going to keep pushing forward with as many listings as I possibly can during the day for the next couple of weeks and try and just like make hay while the sun shines uh, for the decent sales. And then when things naturally slow down again, then I will slow down a little bit too. All right, on with shipping.